Hello everybody, it's um, the end of 2017 and I thought I would make my last one of these of the year. Um, I haven't done this for a long, long time so I really am sorry. Um, I knew that I thought I was, what I was going to say but now I've got all a bit. Um, I haven't done my jar this year so I thought I'd just look back and reflect on the year. Um, because it is New Year's Eve, I am in my nighty. Um, I'm just about to get in the shower, ready to go out to party. Um, this year, hmm, <sighs> big learning curve this year. Big, big learning curve, mainly on me. Um, I've learned that I'm actually okay. I can actually say that Haley is okay. She's a nice person. I don't hate myself anymore. And that's taken me years to say that. 2000, the year, 17 was the year of realisation. And uh, I'm pleased. So, I've done it. It's been a year of heartbreak. Um, which I wasn't expecting. Um, towards the end of the year. I learned that um I'm seeing my messy cupboard there. Um I um I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to meet up with somebody and how it goes somewhere very, very quickly. What I thought, and then it fall to pieces but it was good because it got me back on that saddle um and now i'm happy and i've realized i'm ready for a relationship and that's what i want is a relationship i don't want sex just sex i want everything that goes with them with a man the cuddles and the arguing and the coming home to each other and the seeing each other and going out to eat with each other and everything just everything um so roll on that again because i haven't done that for a long time so that should be interesting um but I'm ready for it and I haven't been ready for that for a long long time because I've been concentrating on myself and my illnesses and being very self-absorbed and that's been fine but it's been all consuming so I haven't had that time or that effort to, to have a relationship but now I am and I can say yes I'm ready for a man and not, you know and that's a lovely thing to be able to say so 2017 has brought me that it also brought me a lot of illnesses two major operations um which we all know about very well documented um so it brought me a lot of problems but it brought me a lot of strength from that um and I learned that I can cope I can get through it. I can do it. I can get down and be ill and poorly and feel so shite that I don't feel like I'm going to get up and do it and get better and push myself. And I feel so good now. I'm so in such a good place to be get going into 18. I'm going to be, I'm not 100%, I'll never be 100%, but I'm in a bloody good place to go into 2018 in. I'm 110,000% better than I was. I watch that video now of that crying person, me, saying I really want that operation to, like this time last, well, September last year, and I feel so sorry for that person and I cry because that was me 
desperate, in desperation for help. I didn't think I was ever going to get help. I didn't think I was ever going to get out of that rut of being so poorly, so ill, and having it control my life. You don't understand, it controlled my, it was consuming my life. I've tried to hide it, so but it con it was all consuming. I lived at the doctors, at the hospital. I couldn't leave the house because of it. It, co it was all consuming. It's not like that now. Yeah, I still have to go to doctors and hospital. I still have problems, but I can go out. I can go out for an evening and I don't have to panic. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. My life is 360. It's amazing. I can't wait for the new year to see what it brings me. I also learned who my friends were this year for when I was ill. I learned who deserted me and didn't see me and visit me and and who did. And who stood by me and was my rocks. And I thank them very much. And I and my family. My family were there for me through everything. And I can't thank them enough. They were everything to me this year. Everything to me this year. If they weren't there, then I would never got through it. My tower of strength, especially my little sister, Lise. Lee has been my rock. And we've never had a relationship where we've been like that. We've always been kind of fighty. We, oh my god, cat fights when we were kids were unreal. Bad, bad cat fights. We used to physically fight. Physically fight. But now, I wouldn't be without her. Not without my sister. Love her to pieces. And talking to sisters, I rediscovered my other one. Um, me and Rebecca, me and Bex have uh, got close again and I love that too. Um, Becky is my sister by my father. And she just was a teenager and went out into the world and got fair play to her and grew up. And we just, because we don't live in the same house... I suppose we just disconnected a little and it was nobody's fault it wasn't my fault it wasn't her fault we just 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 disconnected a little bit that was all and but this year we've seemed to have found each other again and spending a lot more time together um it's hard because she works a hard bless her but um we've rediscovered um our relationship and that's been so nice to have her back again and in my little life and seeing her and I love her so much so so much she's always been my baba sister um she's an amazing person amazing person too so that's nice I've got both my sisters um so 2017 has brought some truly amazing things this year and uh, I can't wait to see what 18 does um and I'm hoping for a lot more next year um to get bigger and bigger, smaller and stronger. Oh, that's another thing that's happened this year. I've shrunk, surprisingly, to a stone. Two stones gone. And uh, this year, next year, next year, not quite next this year, could be more. I'm hoping to lose another two stone and I'm going to reach my target. I'm determined. This time I'm going to do it. Um, so. I will be that small person again that I was. I deserve to be that person. I deserve to be what I want to be. So, watch out, people. Watch out. <laughs> I'm going to be thin again. <laughs> anyway, so, this is what I've learnt this year. A lot has happened. And I'm hoping a lot will happen next year. And um, it's been a very eventful year for me. Um, I hope it's been just as eventful. Happy, 
hopefully very happy for you lot out there too. Um, thank you for watching me and seeing what I'm doing. I'm going to be better next year at this, hopefully. I'm going to try and do at least once a month next year. I'm not going to promise once a week because I can't do it. Um, but I shall try once a month next year on this to keep you updated on how I'm going on. Um, love to all your families out there. Um, I love you all. And um, have a good evening and be safe, okay?